Yes. I think I might also make a quarry for What are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> Well, today is the day of very tiny achievements. Achievements for today so far have been I got out of bed. I've drank like a bottle and a half of fuel, so you know, I've had some sustenance. I've actually updated this. I need to see my reflection a bit. Hello. I've updated this software, or most of it. I just read no, there they go. Damn it, I thought I'd done that. Okay, a bit more work to do yet, but I've updated the Magic Mirror software running on this Raspberry Pi, or Raspberry Pi, which looks pretty damn cool, doesn't it? Which was fairly straightforward, actually. Quite easy to do that, but I guess I haven't finished yet, so maybe I'm not quite done. I set up uh, Microsoft Outlook to work with my various email addresses, so I'm now feeling a bit more businessy on my desktop PC. I sent a couple of work emails on said businessy system. And now it's like 10 past three in the afternoon, I'm gonna jump in the shower because that's a good way to do your day off, I think. You're doing it right. In day, Huel stay in clothes and monster feet. Yes, day off. Well, I think I've sorted that now. It might still have some issues to update, but it looks like it's okay now. It took an unusually long time to get that working, honestly. I was quite surprised. I knew it wouldn't be so straightforward, because honestly, I've been putting off doing it for quite some time, but I thought I'd get around to it now that it was, because it was upstairs rather than being down here for a bit, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I think it's working now. I even had some like overheating issues and things that really surprised me too, but whatever, it's done. Quite enjoyed it too, not gonna lie. But now I'm gonna do my hair with some of this gunk and jump in the car to meet Joe so we can go and see a movie. Hopefully we're gonna go see Ant-Man and the Wasp because I've not seen it yet and I really want to. Yeah, I really gotta sort my hair out, haven't I? This is getting far too long and straggly and out of control, but whatever, that's a problem for another day. Just ran up the last of the ingredients to go into my big old bag that I take with me everywhere. People say that they think it's weird that I take this bag everywhere I go. Or I have a big bag of like usually non-used junk that I take with me everywhere I go. And I get that people think it's unusual, but it's not really when you think about it. And I'm gonna stereotype some genders here for a second, but classically women's handbags. They're the biggest things in the world full of junk that nobody even dares touch. Including the person who owns it usually. But that's like what this is for me. This is my equivalent. Like I keep lots of things that I find useful to my day. I might not use all of them every day. I might not use any of them all day. I'm only out for like a few hours. I might not even open the bag, but it's good to know that they're there just in case. Now I know I realize I'm zoomed in here. I'm hoping that it lines up okay. I've not tested this mount with this camera angle yet. So I think it's okay. My apologies if all you can see is like on my face, but whatever, we'll move past it. Maybe literally. Now, I said I was going to go to the cinema to meet Joe, so I am doing that, but I'm actually driving to work because I do work on a very large sort of shopping center kind of deal. And it's, I'm really quite lucky that I work there when you think about it. Like I, I don't talk much about work specifically, but I talk about sort of just what my day was like. But I don't talk really much about the environment that I'm working in, like, like that my shop is surrounded by. And I'm, I really am very lucky with the location really, because it's only sort of 20 minutes from my house, a like 15 mile drive for two minutes to be on traffic. And there's <laughs> there's four electric car charge points there, which are completely free to use, which is very lucky. There's a cinema, there's loads of restaurants, there's all sorts of like, takeaway food places, there's a supermarket, there's a petrol station if you're that way inclined with your fossils. There's loads of high-end like, clothing shops, there's a few low-end clothing shops with like cheaper end of it too. There's just so much variety there, like you can get pretty much anything you need if you're willing to pay for it from the place that I work at, which is really quite convenient. And it's quite a big deal from what I gather. Like apparently it's quite a, an attraction because we do see a lot of um, buses of, of tourists from direct, direct from an airport from what I gather. They all come through as a big group. They go to visit center and they get their sort of like gift cards. They get, well, it's like a sort of VIP card. They get 10% extra off almost everything they buy that day. And it's like kind of a big deal. It's like a full day out. There's a hotel. I forgot to mention there's actually like a, it's called a, it's a Premier Inn. There's a hotel on site. It's a really nice place. So the fact that I'm now driven to work again, I'm not going to work, I'm going there for social now, which is not when many people can say that. And I think that's quite a good thing. Now I'm here, I should get five minutes or so before Joe's arrives. So I'm gonna have a look in one of the aforementioned stores I mentioned earlier, aforementioned earlier. These bad boys down here, over somewhere that way. I think you can't even see it now, Never mind. but there's a game store over there. Let's go have a look. It's in the pre-order for Smash. I'm actually saying you should buy an old Game Boy controller and play it through that. That's weird, right? Ooh, in the bag of glory. Okay, so apologies if uh, it's a bit dark to see what's going on here. I can't have the flash on the phone, otherwise it'll be right in my face while I'm driving in the dark. And that's not good for anybody involved, is it? Let's be honest. 
But it's not too dark yet tonight, so hopefully you're still right enough to see me. Anyway, I've just finished watching uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp in the movies, and it was really, really good. Like, I I still got to play it over my head a few times, because I, like I like to think about movies for, if I've enjoyed it, at least I like to think about them a lot and process what happened. So I'm sure I'll have a more detailed opinion in a day or two, but as initial impressions go, very, very positive. I thought it was a fantastic film. The Ant-Man movies, the first one, and the second one too, I guess, a very underrated films. If you if you like Marvel but you haven't seen Ant Man, you absolutely have to watch it. It's very good, and the second one's even better. I really enjoyed it. It's very funny, but it's not a comedy. It's not like Deadpool funny. It's like classic Paul Rudd funny. It's really worth watching. But anyway, something interesting happened um, just before I went into the cinema. I was always checking my phone, and I realised that for some reason all the Microsoft apps on my Samsung phone don't work anymore. Like I noticed it with OneNote originally, like I use that quite a lot and it doesn't work on that phone. And I tried opening a spreadsheet from an email I received and that didn't open in Excel either, wouldn't, wouldn't open. So I thought this is strange, what's going on? So I looked in the App Store and there's no updates for it. So I thought maybe it's not in the App Store, maybe it's in the Samsung App Store. And the Samsung App Store I have not been on in probably a year and a half since I got the phone. And I open it up and right there on the home screen is uh, Fortnite available to download on Android. I'm like, what the hell? That's that's not out. That's, this is gotta be it's gotta be real, can it? But then I realized it was the Samsung App Store. I was like, well, it's not gonna be a fake on the Samsung Store. So I googled it, and literally an hour and a half before, well, between an hour and two hours before I clicked on that icon, it launched on the Samsung App Store for Samsung phones, like nothing else but Samsung. And I was like, what the hell are the odds of that? I haven't opened that that App Store in genuinely over a year, and the first time I do is an hour after like, one of the biggest mobile releases like this year. What are the chances? But anyway, needless to say, I'm downloading it now and I'll be trying it out later on and see how it performs. Oof, but I'm still not feeling too great in here. I'm not really sure what's going on. I have a very upset stomach at the moment. It's been like that since, basically since I came back from France. Like you'd, th you'd, th you'd think, or you'd have thought, that if you're gonna get a bad stomach, you get it whilst you're abroad, you wouldn't get it when you came back. But either way, I'm gonna get some snuggy trousers on and get her settled in for the evening, I think, because Joe should be on her way as well. So she'll be here in... oh, right now. She's across out there. So that is perfect I'm timing. Here. Baba! And finishing off the evening with an episode of Green Wing, which is still the best TV show ever made. And making up a hot water bottle. She's like a heart with hashtag hugs on. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, the like rating is very appreciated. But otherwise, I'm back tomorrow at 7 p.m. UK time for the next daily vlog. So thank you very much for watching. It's you, Bukitsa. Hello.